Hey, Fitzy here. Back at the game, another one. I'm back on the 49 Fleet Line. I got one more thing to do this quarter panel to complete it. Let's make a custom skirt for it. Stick around. So, in the last video, I went and made this quarter panel, installed it, got it all done, done the cotton board and everything on it. Uh, you want to check that out, there's the video before this one. Uh, what we're going to go at here now is I got to build fender skirts for this, okay? I have a bunch of parts that I got kicking around her pieces and whatnot to make fender skirts for this. The key here is um, I want the fender skirt to cover the entire tire, basically. The problem you got with these early shaves, okay? These early shaves I got to change here, but if you come down here, okay, the early shaves used to turn here and the skirt used to end right here, okay, where the lines were here, and it never looked nice, the skirt like it never filled in the whole quarter panel. Now when I built these quarter panels, I went straight down, okay, so this here is at a right angle type thing, so a skirt can go down and wrap around down, down underneath the, uh, the panel. The problem you got is the tire, so you got to work your way around that. Now with this car here in particular, we have a body line on it, okay. Then we got this uh, set up here on the front. I think it's off a mid 60s Buick or something. I'm not quite sure what they got done. I have sections of the back quarters here that I'm going to incorporate into the skirt. I'll show you. If you go way back to the first videos on this car, you'll see this is the quarter panel that was on the car. They had this quarter panel put on the car and he had it all cut down and raised up. And it was a bunch of things done. It was brutal what they had done with it. I intend to use about this much of this quarter pan of this here, okay? I just want a little bit of relief on it with the little lip on it. And this here is going to continue on and flow down underneath the car right here and join into this body line that goes along here. And then it's going to go back here and it's just going to fade out back here. And it's just going to be flat on the back side here. So this here stays round into the skirt and it just fades out. That's the gold I got for it. I also have this section here that I cut out of the quarter panel. I might be able to use it. Uh, I don't know if I got too much cut out of it or not, but I know it's like the entire bottom section is going to have to be cut out of it uh, for this here to work. So, you know, that's the plan with that there. And this is the idea I got. Uh, I'm going at this blind. Uh, it's not like, I've, you know, I've been thinking about this a lot, and this is the idea I got in my head. Uh, so I got to uh, incorporate this and this onto this car here. So uh, first thing I got to do is I got, got to make a perimeter all the way around this here. All I'm going to do is get a wide strip of steel, and I'm just going to come up here, come across here, come down here, clamp it into place, uh, and then mark it on the outside here so I got something, uh, an actual lip that I can actually weld to, to actually have a skirt to mount to. i got to make mounting points for this. I have an idea of like just slots going up this way through the, the wheel well, uh, some sort of hooking mechanism on one side, and some sort of spring mechanism on the front. I have a nail it down. Most times they usually clip up on the top and grab this way and they hang on the bottom. Um, I have an old set of skirts here with that, but I'm just trying to think of an easy way that I can just put it up in one pin and it's in place, okay? That's the idea I got in my head. That may change as I go, but uh, what I got to do first is I got to cut out a piece of steel that'll go the length of that. I got to measure from here, come up along here, take this measurement all the way down to the bottom here so it reaches the very bottom and just blindly take a large piece of metal and uh, cut it out so it'll fit there okay so i went and measured up a piece a four inches wide and i got a 50 inches long i measured from the bottom of the wheel well the very bottom where it came up and the turn went over and went down to the very bottom again i used the seamstress tape to measure that up so and i added a, an inch or so to the end of it and i figured it's about four inches in on the bottom and that way i got room that i can actually shake this here to go to the car itself. I just assume make it out of one big large piece and have it so that I can clamp it on and uh, that way it's uh, it's flush outside and I'll cut it to fit after. I like start with square pieces. You can get carried away with it, make templates and all that type of stuff. I just prefer to do it this way. If you want to make a template, uh, you can make up a template. So all I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go in. I got to cut the edge off of these here. These got edges on it. And I'll cut this off four inches wide by 50 inches. I'll get that cut off so we can fit it on the car. So I got the piece cut out. So now what I got to do is I got to shape it to put it in here. This will be my outer lip of it. 
I'm just gonna put it in there like that and start bending it around. I'm gonna clamp it on down there and start bending it <coughs> so it can fit in there. So let's get this in place now. Bend it over me the easiest thing. Just gradual roll on it. So I got it clamped in place, got a couple of clamps put it in there and got it shaped up and I moved it around a bit, I turned it over a bit. I want to have a little bit of access hanging down on the bottom on both sides so I got room to push up on it to tighten it up as I go. What I did then is I marked it with a marker all the way around there. I'm not going to cut it in flush to the body, I'm going to cut it and leave the marker there. Uh, that's what my mark's going to be. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in about, about an inch and a quarter in from there and mark it again and trim that up so then all I'll have is I'll have a band that'll just go right around this whole thing like so. So I straightened out the piece and you can see now the shape that I got going along here and curves down here. I'm going to go ahead now and take the grinder, leave the marker there and just grind that off there. Then when I get that grinded off I'll uh, come in here and I'll mark it in here uh, just by basically all I'll be doing with that is like doing this type of thing with it. I'll be coming in holding my finger like that and going along there like that, just using my finger as a guide, right? Just going along, I'll do that out here. And uh, I'll mark that in about an inch and a quarter or so, and then I'll cut off the access on the inside. It makes it a lot easier to, uh, to clamp on and whatnot. So, and I'll have a lot extra out here because I'll have a grind this flush here before I put the skirt on it. But what I'm after here first is to get this entire band figured out so I can mount this on the car. So you see me cutting that there, and then I went and I scribed it. I give myself about an inch and three eighths. I give myself a little bit more. And I went around and I scribed that there, and I have a line there you can see. And I'll go ahead now and I'll cut off that section there and get that out of the way. And then I'll end up cleaning this up on both sides to get it ready to go over and test fit it one last time before uh, I do the next step. So I got that all cleaned up, both sides. I got it all cut, ready to go. So what I'm going to go over now is go over and fit that back on the car again, do the bends in it and stuff like that, and clamp it in place. So I got it clamped in place there, and I got a couple of pairs of voice grips clamped into it, held in place. 
And if you look down, it's not what you call flush all the way around. I'm not too concerned about it. Some places are flush, some places are not. It's sticking off way down here at the bottom. My whole goal is now to get this to fit in here. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go around and clamp this in place. Okay, as I'm going around, I'm going to put a couple of tack welds in here. I'm going to weld this section to the quarter panel itself. Remember now, this lip edge that I went and done on this quarter panel is pretty thick. It's welded on the inside and grinded off, so I won't have no worries about damaging it or whatnot. So that's what I'm going to do. Like you can't put clecos on it, but for the simple fact that when you takes the puts the skirt face and everything on it, you're going to want access out here to remove it. So all I'm going to do is put a couple of small tacks, about every four inches, all the way around the entire skirt setup, and then I'm going to grind it off lush around here, so I can get ready to skin over the top of the skirt. So I got it all welded on along there. I got the race type gap all the way around. What I'll do now is I'll grind this off flush with the grinder and grind off like the tops off of these welds. I'll cut these off later on when I'm ready to take the skirt off when everything's made. But for now, I'll leave that right where it's at. You see me with these here. They're an interesting pair of ice grips. I got these off Worth. Uh, where's it to? Right here. See if we can get that in the light. You can probably freeze that. There's the part number over right there, 9713 09 is it? 09301 worth. All it is is a pair of ice scripts that's adjustable for doing spot welds like in tight quarters in here. They open up and I put that up in there and I clamp down on it and it clamps in place. All right? Just clamps on and you can reach up and do spot welds. It's designed for like for doing wheel welds and stuff like that. I've got them a lot in a long time. I've only used them a half a dozen times. They're they're perfect for this job, I can tell you that. But uh, interesting little tool. Anyway, I got this all welded on. I got down then later on and welded the bottom sides on both sides as well. Now what I got to do is I'm gonna go back with the grinder now and just grind this all flush all the way around here. So I got a nice flush uh, surface now to weld to, and I can start skinning over the top of the skirt. And here it is all grinded off. Okay, it's all flush now. It's a lot easier to do it this way here. All it is, I grinded it back till I, I struck the metal here, and then that was flush with that, and I just knocked the heads off of this here. Just a week in them a small bit. A couple broke and had to re-weld them again. But don't mind that, because I'm going to end up cutting these later on uh, when I'm ready to take the quarter panel off the cart. They're only there temporary to hold this piece in place so I can actually skin the outside of it here now, right? So what I'm going to do next here now is i got to get this piece here, uh, test fit it, prep it up. Uh, I'm gonna have to run it through the English wheel again because it's got a lot of a crown and everything on it. So I'm going to work on that there now to get that to fit in here. Okay, this section here was the piece that I cut off the quarter panel in the video where I done the quarter panel, and I hung on to this piece because I wanted to reuse it. 
Now I fix it up in place here, I'm going to put it in underneath the bottom side of this here. I'm not going to put it up against the flush, but have it so that it's flush this way. When I do that, I fit this up in place. It fits pretty good, but there's an overlap back here. I'm going to have to trim off the back side here because it's overlapped because the way I got it put in there. But it fits in pretty good, just a, little, a few minor adjustments to that. But the problem I got is this curves in too much on the bottom side here. This section of the panel curves in, so I got to flatten this section out a bit more and take a bit of a roll out of it. I never wheeled none of this here because I'm going to be eventually cutting this off anyway. I'm going to have to add to it here to go down into the car and same with in the front. I'm going to do all that first before I put the wheel section, the, the lip section in. So I'm going to turn around now and bring this over and uh, run it through the English wheel. Now I got the two wheels there, as you can see, they're not touching, okay? I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Wait, I don't know, it's going to go more than that. There you go. Just a little slight touch on. Um, this is not a very big crown wheel on it. Of course, like I said in the last video, fiber just needs to be polished. I'm not getting into that. The one thing I've noticed is when I was wheeling on the, the quarter panel section, if I wheel it too far, if I turn it inside out and wheel it, it would take the, the crown out of it. Now, I haven't seen that anymore. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe you shouldn't be doing it. If any of you guys out there have any familiarity with these machines, talking about wheeling the back side of a panel to take crown out of it, um, I greatly appreciate some advice or something, or pointing in the direction of someone who got who does it. Uh, but I've never seen it. Uh, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on guys wheeling. It has always been the same way. They never reversed it to take crown out of it. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put it in upside down. And I'm just going to wheel the section that I want taken out. And it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. All I'm doing is I'm crowning it back the other way. Okay? And that's all I want to do. There's a couple of points out that's really tight. So just gradually get that down. I'm not too concerned about the bottom here. I just would like to take some of the crown out of this. Just a little bit of the crown. And it's flattening it out. That's what it's doing, see? But I've never seen it done that way. Um, maybe it's, uh, it's doing something that it shouldn't do. I don't know, but it works for me, and I'm happy with it. Now granted, my metal, my weeding techniques are not what you call perfect. You see the, the lines and everything in it. So this was uh, my first attempt at this type of stuff. So Anyway, that there seemed to be pretty well it, what I wanted to get done with it. I'll go over and test fit that now, and if it needs any more, I'll come back and move it some more. Now I've after wheeling a bit more, and then I smoothened it out to try to get some of my wrinkles out of it. And then I went ahead and I trimmed off the back side here and got it to fit the, the wheel well better. And then I grinded it off the lip section around here. I'll grind this all off later. I've done the same one on the inside here. One thing I'm going to point out here now, one of the biggest mistakes I see anybody doing when they're building cars, okay? They start with flat stock and they build it from flat stock, okay? What I mean by flat stock, the steel is perfectly straight. You look at any production car that was ever built, uh, even the Model T Ford, um, there's no flat panels on a car. It may give the illusion that it's a flat panel, but it's not a flat panel. Every panel got a crown to it. Because most times when you build something out of flat stock, what ends up happening, over-exaggerating, that when you look at it and you get it all welded up, it kind of got this going on, okay? Every panel on a car that you find, you will find that it's uh, got a slight crown. And if you look at this here, I have a... A bit of a gap here, then it touches here, and then I got a bit of a gap here. It's very, very subtle. That very subtle panel is what makes the difference. What a lot of people do when they're building with uh, flat stock and they end up filling it, they'll just fill it and they'll fill the crown into it. Uh, I like building panels, and that's the reason why I use a lot of factory panels. Uh, like if I was, uh, I've done in some of my videos, I use panels from other cars. Because they already have crowns in them, hood scoops, that type of stuff. If, like, if you went and built a hood scoop for a car and built it out of flat steel, uh, it probably won't look right. Uh, that's the reason why everything should have a very slight crown on it. And that's why you would think that a skirt will be perfectly flat as not. Like you look at this panel this way and it's crowned, okay? And it's got a very, very slight crown going this way. Just enough to bring the center up so that it's not concave, right? So I'm going to go over now and test fit that on the car. 
and uh, start welding it on. Now I went ahead and I fit the panel in place and I can tell you I got a bit of time put into it, had to grind it, fit it, grind it, fit it and then lay it in place. I used a magnet to, just to hold it so I wouldn't fall in the middle. Uh, I'm looking at how, which way was the best way to start welding, I figured I was going to have to start welding it in the middle because when I started to set up the outside this would fall in and it's going to be very hard to pull that out. Uh, so what I do is I take the spot that is the lowest when you lay it in place and you, you find a spot which in this case was the middle and I pulled that out I wasn't worried about the ends just made sure that it was forward and backward in the proper position and then I start welding it on work my way around okay uh, it's a bit tricky I'm trying to I tried not to weld in any of the spots that I've welded to the body I went after then and went tack welded in between them to try to give it some strength. I'm not going to fully solid weld this on the car. I'm going to take it off and weld it all up off the car. And uh, But, you know, this is as far as I'm going to take it. I might weld it in between it again, uh, shorten up the distance again, just so there's not so much welding involved in it when I take it off because if it puts a lot of heat in this, I'm afraid I'm going to start warping stuff up. Next thing I got to do now is I got to build these sections down here. Now you look back here, this sticks out, I'm not worried about it. All this is going to have to be trimmed off when I goes to put this section on here, okay? Because I got to put this lip on it next. But I want to get the transition of the rear of the quarter and the transition of the front of the quarter uh, set up so that it's already there. And then I can trim this stuff out of the way and start fitting the actual quarter panel wheel lip on it and designing the way this is going to go down here. So I'm going to turn around now and just go get two random straight pieces and just cut them off, put them in there. Not worried about the middle yet, okay? The middle has still got a bit wonky and everything going on there. I was concerned about getting this flush up here, getting it welded on, that's done. Now i got to get the transition done from here, down underneath, on the front and on the back. And I'll get them welded onto the lip and get that welded on here. I'm not going to weld it onto this section here yet. And if it lines up here, I'll weld it on. If it don't, uh, if this goes straight down, I'll just leave it be. Because I'm willing to say this is going to be a short wheel lip on this side here. so And same with the back. It's just going to taper off. So let's get two of them made now and get them installed. Back here is a bit tight. 
it's a small area I'm just gonna go in here and cleave this off give myself a nice big section that I can weld in there because that's too narrow for me to weld that down around the bottom there because I want this to flow this way and come back into the car so I want to want the quarter pound to flow this way and then taper off into the quarter tip down and go on underneath the car that way there that's the plan for it anyway so all right so I'll cut that off there now and get a strip for that Well, I got that welded in. My poor old welder, I'm telling you, the uh, tips on the welder, after buying new tips for it, I got a roll of wire in that uh, welder, uh, and I can tell you it's different than what I usually run, and it's giving me nightmares. It's not the tips. Um, it just seems to powder up the end of the weld and stick to the tips, no matter what tips I've after having three or four different tips in it. Um, it's only happening since I've been using this roll of wire. It's not something I've had in the past. And what it does is it just sticks enough that the wire won't come out. And you just move the machine around, it breaks it clear. It's a real nuisance. Uh, I'm just using it up, trying to get rid of that roll of wire is all I'm trying to do. Because I got another roll there to put in it. But um, it seems like to me that roll's lasting forever. But anyway, I got that spot there all. I, I just used scrap steel, shaped it. I wanted to get the flow this way. And I wanted to get it to curve this way here. Okay, I didn't want to go straight off it here. I was having troubles back here. I thought I was videotaping this, but I wasn't. But you can see the transition here, the way this flows off here. Okay, and going back through here, the way it flows. That's what I was after. I'm not, this does not look pretty, okay? I'm not worried about it. All I want is a transition from here to here, that's equal, and from here to here. The problem you got with trying to build this whole skirt in one piece is that's got a different shape than that. And trying to get that's got a large roll that's got a little small roll so you're trying to duplicate a roll down here and of course then you got the tire in the way um there's nothing wrong with doing this in multiple pieces okay you're building a customized car so you know uh building this this way here and this way here it's a lot easier you can see that it's not fit in this panel right at all now because i'm not worried about that all i was worried about is getting this this flow going this way here and have a sort of transition from the skirt here you don't want the skirt to come down and then turn and go straight okay you want this transition so i'll run off from this here now to come up and put my lip and i'll do the same thing here to run down underneath there so that when you put the skirt on the skirt will flow with the car on both ends and then it'll have this section in it if you try to put that lip in it and then try to join all that in you'll be there trying to figure it all out and if you try to roll it all in one piece um this here is lower than this uh, like if you look at this panel here and you look across here and you can see where the panels to here compared to here and compared to here the this whole quarter panel is on an angle that's the way they are they're like a big teardrop is what they're like right when you look at these cars and it's tricky to get a, to build a custom skirt for these because of that so i figure just build the front first build the back now let's install the middle so i'm gonna go over now and chop this up i'm only gonna need about that much of it i just want this to have just a little relief on it just to show that it's there and so the transition can go down and eat it and it can fade off in the back so i'll go trim all that up cut that that piece and uh, we'll start fitting that just look at this it's one two three pieces all overlapped right coming up through here and it's welded around and they grinded it thin they welded it here and grinded it thin right it's it's amazing what's been done to this poor old car right? over here same thing grinded thin I'm just going to turn around and cleave all this off up here. I only needs right to the flat section here. 
I'm going to do the same way the front fender is done. And I'm just going to leave this off here. So I'm going to mark this here now to give myself a level line. And I'm just going to cut it off and start trimming it up. So here's where I'm to. You can see I got it all trimmed up and I got it just mocked up in place there. That is sort of the look I'm going after there now. Uh, just a little bit of a relief on the bottom of the skirt with a little tiny bit of a wheel lip down or very little. You can just see a little tiny bit of the tire and then it just fades off and then it fades off to the front. The problem I'm having with this here now is this wheel lip is very wide. I like the way this gradually goes off in the back here and as you can see this ends here. And I would like to re maintain this here and have this slowly, gradually coming down, just fading out down to here. And up here, this goes right off to the end of it as well. So this has to be moved back, and this has to be moved forward. So what I've got to do is I've got to section this, cut it in the middle, and uh, narrow it up. Well, i got a spot here, there's a bit of rust, so I might just cut that section out of it and weld it there. So I'm going to move this back to see where I like the front to look, and mark this little mark i got here where there's a cornered edge. I'll mark that there. And I'll do the same back here. I'll move this forward till I'm happy with so the back looks the way I like to have it. And I'll mark that spot there. And I'll measure the distance between two of them there and the two of them on the panel. That'll tell me how much i got to cut out the middle. So I've been playing around with it here. And what I got done is I got it lowered down a bit more. And I got this moved back. You can see that there's about this much distance there. There's about an inch and a quarter or so from the end of the skirt to the actual roll on the... Uh, the wheel lip, that's the way I want As you can see, this runs right off the back out here, right? But I played around with it and just my heights and everything. And I think that's where I'd like to have it because I'd like to have a little bit of a lip there, but very little of one to go down underneath the bottom of the car there and same with back here, transition to transition off, right? So I got that marked right there now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the back forward now, follow these two lines here and clamp it in a place where I'm happy where this transition back here looks good. So this will come back and it'll flow off the back end of it, right? So I'll do that now, mark that spot right here, over here somewhere, and figure out how much I gotta cut out. So I moved to the head, played around with it where I was happy with it. I got this transition line coming down through here, and there's the end of the skirt there. So I want it to transition off there, right? Let me zoom in on this. There we go. And you can see now where this transition here was going to flow out, flow through here. So it's gonna end about here somewhere. And we just got a very slight rotation up on the top end of it there. And in the front, of course, and you can see how much is going to be cut off. Roughly about two inches. I think I'm going to take two inches out of it and just keep the numbers round and then just center it up in the wheel well. So I'm happy with it front and back. I want to have a little bit of material here on front and rear in order for uh, the skirt to look right. I don't like I, I want the body line, the flow of the body to flow into the skirt on the front and on, also on the back. So uh, it'll look proper and then it'll just have a wheel lip on the bottom of the skirt. So... I'm going to take that off there now, measure that up. I say it's roughly two inches, and I'm going to take two inches out of that, cut it, and uh, weld it back together again, clean it all up, and get ready to uh, mark that out so I can start trimming it and cutting it and getting it in place. Now I went ahead and I cleaned it all up. It was in better shape than I thought it was. I thought there was a big rust blister on it, but there wasn't. It was all good metal up there. Uh, what I did now, I just found a good spot on I just cut it in half. Now, usually you'd measure off two inches, cut it off, and try to butt two of them together. I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, put a couple tacks on that, and I'll just run a zip blade through it, and then I can weld the two of them together. But, before I does that, I'm going to make sure that this I'm happy with this here. So I'm going to take this just like it is here now. I'll put a couple tacks on this here, and then I'll go over and I'll clamp it on the quarter panel, slice it all up, see if I'm happy with it. Then I can take it off, and I can cut and do the cutting butt on that there, and uh, weld it together. This is one of the reasons why it's good to do it that way, because you got you got something to line it up on. It's only going to go on there one way, okay? Now, when I put that on and I can run that through there, I know two of them are true. But you know yourself, trying to weld two of these back together, you're trying to get two of them just so, they'll be off like that, or they'll be like this, by overlapping them and clamping them and welding them there, and then just turn on the old cotton button, removing the inside piece there, you get a nice straight piece. So here's what I come up with. I've been playing around with it, moving it around, moving it over, moving it up, moving it down, doing the whole works. I had to trim off a section of the of the skirt on the car in order to get the illusion right. Uh, a bit of tape over here is where it's going to end, so you're only going to see this much of the lip, right? And then it's just going to come over here and just slowly fade out. Won't be much of a lip there. Uh, I've been playing around with it, playing around with it, trying to uh, come up with something. And I'm happy with it where it's to there now. So what i got to do next now is I'm going to trim this down a bit more. 
and tidy it up and whatnot so that and get this the cotton butt done here and get that welded together uh mark this off here clean off the, the skirt and everything so i can do the cotton butt on this here i want to trim more off back here uh, i don't need all that back here and i gotta cut it off because it's too long for the skirt here and uh, go from there and then do another test fit on it but uh, i'm pleased with that just getting the illusion that i'm after this here is going to tip down underneath now and join into that over there the illusion of it like the, that'll be cut through there but this here front of the skirt will flow into that and then it will just fade off here on the back side so i'll take that off now get that cut up and uh, trimmed up and welded up so then i can uh, do one final fit well i'm over here now and i got this cut up ready to be welded together i ended up only taking an inch out of it um i played around with the idea of having it wider front wider in the back and what i found is it just made the wheel arch so small I want to make this as long as I possibly could, but still have a little bit up here on this end. I uh, looked at a few pictures, and it just seems like the longer the wheel opening was, the better it looked. A real short, stumpy wheel opening, it just didn't look right. So I played around with it a couple of times. I caught it, and I fit it. I stood it back and forth, and uh, I come up with uh, just taking an inch out of it. So I got it all caught here now. I'm going to go ahead and get this all welded up and get this all cleaned up so I can get ready to install this section of the skirt. So I got that all welded up there, and that's all grinded off. One thing I want to point out here now, um, with this here, I've done this cotton boss and you know butt welding, grinding, and finishing all off. Uh, when you got the panel off like this here, you want to weld both sides of it. But here's the trick, okay? I welded the outside of this, I grind and finished it. I haven't welded the inside yet. What I found in the past, when I welded the outside, welded that all up, then flipped it over and went ahead and welded the inside off. It just distorted everything too much that the outside would never go right again. I got the outside to where, where I'm happy with it now. Now I'll go back in here and I'll weld it up in here. And then there's less work for some reason out here. I just find it harder to make this panel here look proper when you weld the inside and out at the same time. So now that I got the outside all done and dressed, I'll go back in here now and I'll re-weld all this in here to give it more strength. So here's where I'm too. You saw me grinding all that off as well. Um, it was harder to actually get a full visual on the skirt with the weight on it, so I figured I'd clean it all off now and have it done. Uh, I went ahead and I trimmed this up uh, so it fit better, just the height of it. Uh, measured off the block here, using that as my level of the ground. I just measured up to the wheel to make sure it was nice. Uh, as you can see, there's the actual look that we're going after. You can actually see where it's just a little bit of a tip up and then it just fades out, okay? Now I'll flow this in on the bottom here and I'll do the same thing over here and flow that in underneath there. I have to do that multiple pieces. But I'm pretty pleased with that there. So I'm gonna go head down and position that, double check my measurements. And I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld that in there and start to do the cotton bottle on there, get that much of that welded on.
So I got that all put in, cotton bud, and that's welded into there. Now what we're left with is these rolled edges here, this section here. This has the flow in underneath here, and this has the flow in underneath here. Now you would sit down here and start wanting to splice this and bang on it and hit it and do it all. I'm not going to waste my time with that. I marked it right here. I want this to go straight to here, and then I want it to start to turn. Up here, same thing. I got it marked. I want it to go straight to there, and then I want it to start to turn. I'm just going to blindly cut that right off. I'm going to make this lip first. I'm going to roll this in underneath here, and then I'm going to make, put a face on it here, and then I'm going to make this outer section here. I'm going to make it three sections. Um, it's a lot easier to do it that way. You can cut that and cut that and bend it and pound on it and beat it up, but it's not going to be... Um, a very nice looking uh, setup here. So take it one section at a time. This is the critical one here that he wants to flow nice, okay? So I'm gonna cut that off here and make a piece like this here. It's only a strip. From here down, that's gonna be straight. So I'll take a straight strip and I'll just roll it in there and put a nice gradual roll on it. And I'll do the same up front and I'll just build off of that. So I got a piece here now with the shape in it that's there, just to explain it a bit better. Some may think that if you just split this in here, you'll be able to roll this in around through here. You've got to realize that this here, this here is all one unit, okay? And it, there's an edge on it. This is going not going to want to bend very nicely because this metal here has got to go somewhere, okay? This runs into a problem. It'll end up kinking it and doing it all. The problem with it is, is that the distance that you've got going up across here, as it moves down in here, this distance here will get smaller, okay? But just by cutting the inside of it here and bending around, this distance here and this distance here is the same length. So that's where you're running into the problem. You're going to have a problem moving this section in. This will want to kink up and do it all. So I'm just going to make this little strip here. And then, uh, like, this here is pretty well straight here. I'm going to take a strip there. And I'm going to just flow it in underneath the bottom of the car with the strip. Then I'm going to build this piece. Then I'm going to build this piece. And it's not very hard to find the very, the very piece, though. So that will be, I'll trim that up now so that's the same as that there. And I'll work on flowing that. I'll make it a little longer than that. And I'll just have a little bit of excess there. And I'll line up the inside section here. And I'll worry about trimming off the outside after.
Sen.
here's what it looks like. Flows in from all different angles. Now it's hanging down underneath the car a small bit. I'll fine tune that uh, later on when it gets it off. But you'll get the gist of what I got done there. The way I done it. Like even look up in here. And we actually got a wheel lip down. It passes down underneath. I got to trim all that up. So uh, that's the way that'll look. Uh, some of you might be asking the same. Well, well, Tony, why don't you just take the skirt off and do all that on the bench? Because the problem I'm having with all that is this here structure. The more welding I put on this, the more it's going to warp up. Uh, I prefer to do all this work on the car as much as I possibly can so before I take it off so that way when I do take it off all I'm doing is just doing you know a little cutting but I might end up welding all this here on the car but up here I'm going to have to take it off to do that this outer edge is all I want left to be done and to trim up and dress up inside on the bottom side here so uh, you know there's reasoning behind it to do it because do, uh, you see how much heat I put in a lot of this this is a pretty well structural area and it's like it's very hard to get anything to warp there so i welded a couple of spots pretty heavily there right but the key was to get this strip to flow down underneath the car first because this is the strip that you're following that and this bottom ledge here this outer side one you can work it after and down underneath the bottom here now i might turn around and tuck this a bit more and then just have it so it goes flush to the bottom of the quarter i don't know yet i'll decide that when i take the quarter off right but uh that's it like you look down this way now down at it and you can see that it's got a nice flow going into the car Stand back here, and you can see the way it flows down underneath the bottom of the car. Right? So, that's the key to it. I got that one done there now, so I'm going to move up here, and it's going to go ahead. This one here is a bit more trickier. Um, this one here, I got to deal with this thing here, so there's a problem here. I'm going to cut this off, and this here has to flow into this here, so i got to work on doing that. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get that done. I'll show you what I got done when I gets back or when it comes back from it because there's a lot of fooling around there I got to do there and the, it's going to take me a while. So I'll get that done and if anything interesting is there, uh, I figure you should know. I'll, I'll stop and show it to you. So here's what I went and did over here. Same process. I went made a little piece over here. I got some adjustments to do and it's better for me to take this off to do it because I'm not liking this line going down through here. I put a lot of welding in here and I want to tidy it up and I want to weld the back side of it first. Uh, down here on the bottom, this is just regular conduit pipe that comes along here. And it was kind of like uh, the way they had to put it together. I went and cut a section of it out and then took another piece of conduit and put it in there. But I continued on right on to the skirt. You can see here's where the skirt ends here. And then I went ahead and I built the outside lip and flowed it down to it. Then I built the inside lip, inside here. I built that in here. And then I come out here then and just slowly uh, trim this up, put a piece in here and start hammering it down, trying to try and get it to roll like so. And as you can see, that this here is all one piece now. I'm going to take the zip blade now and just cut right through this. This is going to be part of the skirt. And it's not, I'll cap the ends of both of them so when it fits together it'll just it'll just one flow into the other is all it'll do i had to do some tidying up down this corner here and in here but i don't want to go doing that now where it's on the car i'm going to take it off and i just sized it all up here and i think i'm just going to start removing this here now but i'm going to show you now what that looks like there it is the way it flows in see the way that flows into the car there looking through here the way it flows down underneath the bottom of the car hooks into the uh, existing setup coming across and flows off to the back end of it I'm very pleased with that look at it from this angle back here looking down in through there yeah I'm pleased with it so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go ahead down and cut through that piece of the tubing down there and I'll come up here and start cutting these wells and see if I can get this skirt off the car without too much trouble <laughs>
Well, that wasn't that bad. I got it off here now, a bit of trick getting it off. You can see I just cut through that piece of pipe. I'll leave that there. I'll cap the end of that. I was thinking about using it as a mounting point for the um, the skirt itself, but I don't know yet. We'll uh, get back to that. We'll figure that out. But you can see now the way it's all done. I said I was going to weld this up on the car before I took it off, but I've noticed with some, this here has, still has to be worked a bit, and it's a lot easier to do it on a bench than to do it anywhere else. And uh, as long as I can keep it straight, I think there's a small, small drop in the center of this here bit, so I got to dolly it up. But here's the uh, infamous corners. You can see the piece is still there. I got to cut that out over here. There's a piece here actually still welded onto it. It's just hanging there. You can see the way it's all done. I'll go in and I'll re weld all this in here. You can see the way it's all made there. I'll re weld all this in here now, give it lots of strength. Weld it all up through inside here, weld it all in here. Same one over here, I'll cut this piece out, weld up this corner here, dolly all that up, get that all done, going so it's right nice. There's the piece of pipe right there. So I'll uh, trim this up, well, uh, I'll trim this up here and weld this piece of pipe on here. So this here just goes down and flows into this here. That ends, right? So, but that's it. That's how uh, I make stuff like that. It seems to be a bit crude, okay? Uh, I soon make it pieces. This is a very complicated piece to make in one, in one in one piece. Okay, I'm still not happy with it right here because this here doesn't flow. This goes down and gets wide here, and I don't like that. Um, so I'll rework that. The, you know, trying to make this here contour, this contour here, and then this contour got a roll and it goes this way. See, it rolls down through here. Plus, it also rolls this way. Uh, I make all that stuff, make it three pieces, and it's a lot easier to work with, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're after this type of flow, okay? That's the flow you're after there, so that flows that way, and you want it to flow this way, so it flows this way, see? And you can stand back and look at that a number of different ways, and you can see the way it all flows, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim all this stuff out on the inside, the back side this here, and work these here, get these all... Uh, Weld it up and the inside and uh, start getting this ready to weld. And there you have it. I got the two corners all done. I've been playing around with it here, grinding stuff up, uh, shaping everything up. I went and capped the end of this piece of pipe here. Pressed it all up, then I flipped it over and welded it all up on the inside. You know, joined on the lip to this piece of pipe and to start welding this intersection here. You know, getting it all, then I grinded it all down to be happy, so it was uh, pretty good. All this will be seam sealed later on when it's all done. All I got left to do with this skirt now is sit down and uh, weld all this up and weld all these around here. Been playing around with it here, sizing things up, and I was trying to decide how I was going to mount these on the car. I was looking at all the different ways the skirts are mounted, and the mistake I made, I should have went my first instinct. When I first put that lip all the way around here, I should have drilled four holes here, two on the ends and two on the top up here. And the more I size it up, I can get my hand up between the tire and the thing so you can get a ratchet up through here. You can see the upper lip when you look up, see? And then through here, you can see that lip there, and you can see that lip there. So my whole intention is to have this whole thing bolted together, okay? Uh, it's the type of thing that's not going to be taken off. It's only put under, uh, it's only going to be removed just in case uh, he gets a flat or something, and it'll only be four bolts. It'll be one you get up through here with a ratchet, get up through here with a ratchet, in through here, and in through here with a ratchet, and I'm bolted. Um... Yeah, it was the, the problem is I got now is I got to center these bolts on the top, try to find a way to drill holes up here and then mark it on the inside. So I'm going to drill these out and uh, have it so that I can mark it. I can, I can reach up here with my hand, hopefully I can get a marker to mark it, and I can uh, drill the inner lip on the car as well, okay? So I've been just playing around with that idea there. I've been online looking at all the different mechanisms, the rods, the ones that clamps on the top, and... I want this to have a very, very tight seam all the way around, okay? And the only way you're going to accomplish that is by bolting it on. Uh, we're trying to give him the illusion that this skirt is not even there. Uh, like, if you can have a big, wide seam on it and put a rubber seal on the hole in there, so he wants to bolt this onto the car when it's painted, and that's where it stays, okay? And it'll be just a small uh, seal to keep the paint from uh, chafing in between the two of them. Probably a clear 
type seal or something and just have it so it bolts on and that's it and only take it off when you need to change the tire so i'm gonna go ahead now and start welding all this up here it's the same process as it always does uh weld an inch bunch of car. i'm gonna weld it all up on the outside here and weld this across here okay and then i'm going to turn around and get this all welded inside here Okay. The skirt's pretty well done now. It's the same process I've done for a lot of other stuff. I'm going to turn around and go and bang this out and get this done. i got a lot of time put into this one skirt. And uh, just trying to figure things out. Now that i got a game plan in place, how I'm going to do everything, I can go over and do it on the other side. Most of my time is spent thinking about stuff, trying to figure out what's the best approach to do all this. And I've been here 15 minutes or so now, just sizing up. Uh, I had this overlaid in the car, trying to size up how I was going to mount it and I decided I'm going to mount it with nuts and bolts. I'll have a stud coming out from the top and I'll have a, a bolt on the inside here or not on, that'll be welded onto the car and you just come in through here with a bolt. All right, let's get this all welded up. While I'm waiting for this to cool off, you see me uh, up here cooling this with air, okay? 
Uh, I did this edge here. This is a really strong. Usually edges are extremely strong, okay? So usually you can cool them and usually you can control the warpage and, you know, that type of thing along an edge. That's the reason why I can cool up here. One of the biggest problems you got when you're welding across an open panel is that when you add uh, cold air to it, what ends up happening is you ends up shrinking the area around it, okay? You, right where the well is to, you'll shock it as much the same as if you were shrinking panels, okay? It doesn't shrink it a lot, but it shrinks it enough that over time it'll, put, it'll warp it all up. And what I've found and done in the past is that I go around, I weld it all up, I leave it alone, okay? I got to come back to be able to touch this, and I like to have it back to room temperature. still warm there now, and I'm just taking my time with it. This is the point where it's going to be tedious to you. You just want to bang through that and get it done. If you bang through that to get it done, you're going to end up warping it, okay? Uh, you can take your time, just going through it, let it cool off, go back, spot weld it again. Uh, you know, I've after doing this enough times to know that every now and again, I'll be one of them people, and I'll rush it, and you've saw me do it in other videos, and I, and I warp the panel. He ends up getting little tucks in this section here, the right line here, it'll come across, it'll tuck down, that type of thing. By shrinking it uh, with, cool, with, with cool air, when you spray cold air on top of it, that shocks that area there. If you let it cool naturally, it'll come back to its former shape, okay? Uh, you know, just take your time with it, let it cool off. I'm just going to sit here now, and i got a few other things i got to get done here, so I'll come back with a, a bead on this here, go look after that, and come back and do a bead on it again, right? So, I figured I'd just point that out to you, because some of you are going to be asking, why did he cool that there, and he's not cooling this here? And that's the reason why. So now I got this all welded up, just taking my time, working at it, finding other things to do. And as you can see, I went over and I fit the skirt on, and I found four locations. I drilled four holes in this, went over, fitted on the car, and drilled the four holes onto the car itself. Then I come over here and I cut a strip, of, I had this strip of metal here, and I had some bolts that I found. And all I did here is I went and drilled the holes in this here, and they're the same distance apart. They will fit over the top here. That will help lock everything in, and I haven't got to worry about the top spinning. And it'll also pull down on the, the, the panel all the way up. So it day lines up with them holes here. Okay. So I'll put that into, into the quarter panel. That'll slide up and be in the wheel well this way. And it'll come down through the holes and I can uh, tighten it all up. That's more or less just something I got there. Just keep it from spinning. Um, and it also pulls down. I could make it out of heavier metal if I wanted to. But I, that, that was dear. I don't know if it's going to be the final... Uh, set up but it's for now it's it's what i'm using so i went ahead now and i got this all this is pretty well yeah this is all cool down now so i'm gonna go ahead now grind all this up get this grind up and get the inside of it welded up 
and then we'll be ready to uh, do a test fit on it. And there it is, all finished up. I went and uh, after I grinded this side off here, I went back, touched it up a few wells, grinded it off. Then I come in on the back side here, and I welded all the back side up, and I grinded it off. And then I come out here and I dress the panel up. As you're going to see the well marks through here when it welds the other side. But uh, no, I'm very pleased with that. Very little and no warpage in that. Okay. Feels pretty good that though. Now the trick with it is, let's bolt it on this puppy. There you have it. It's bolted on with bolts. There's a bolt down here and a bolt, not a bolt down here. And that plating system's crossed top here and it pulls down. It's still got to be tuned, fine tuned. Uh, got to be like moved in a small bit here and there and whatnot. And like the, the agents here got to be dressed a small smidgen, but there's a pretty good fit, right? You can see the amount of work I put into it. Go down through there and it flows off into the bottom of the car. You see, I still got a capped quarter panel. Finish that off, but the uh, I don't mind that. This is all about the skirt. You just barely see the tire. Okay. I'm very pleased with that. Came out nice. Look at that from all different angles now. Coming down here, you look up through the quarter panel there. There you go. One custom made quarter panel. Made out of shelving and old car parts. <laughs> yeah. Simple tools, grinder, MIG welder, drill. Is it? Just take your time, one piece at a time, and you'll figure it out. Anyway, I enjoyed this one. I'm gonna leave this one here. I hope the tips were good. Until next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, hit like and share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe down at the bottom of the page. If you want to donate to the channel, down below there's a button, super thanks button. If you want to click on that, it'll take you through the motions. I'll make it donations to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. We also got merchandise. Pop over to fitsfabrications.com and check out our merchandise. We have hoodies, sweaters, t-shirts, and stickers. Lots to choose from. Thanks for watching.